everyone, this is Janae, and I have a, just a tiny haul and some layout um, shares that I did over the past, I don't know, week or so, probably a couple weeks, um, to share with you. First thing are these dynamic dies that I got from uh, MFT called Story Starters, and I can't really, sorry for the noise. Um, right here is what they look like. Top one says observations, true story, status, update, and best date ever. So um, I got those and they kind of look, let's see, I cut out some extras that I had from a project. So let's say they look like they're about four inches long, about half an inch tall. So just kind of another little fun detail to add to projects quick because you can just kind of run it through your big shot or your cut above or whatever die cutting machine you have. And then I did a small order from Paper Tray Ink just basically to get some card stock um, for the base of my card. So I just got neutrals, you know, white, cream, gray, black. So you know what card stock looks like. So I need to show you that. But um, I did get a die and I don't for the life of me know what the name of it is. And that would probably require some digging. So I don't want this video to get too long. This is how their dies come packaged. Again, this is Paper Tray Ink. So all I got were the letters, the alphabet. And just something else fun to add. They kind of remind me of the Quinn ABCs um, stamp that I like to use from Lawn Fun. And um, so if I don't feel like stamping or something, just kind of quickly run this through your die cutting machine and you get the, all the letters of the alphabet. So I've used this already in my project life and I love it. So, and their dies are really nice. Okay, my project or my layout share. First one I have is this one. And it's called Bocce Ball Madness. There's a picture of my husband. Uh, this is from a camping trip back in August. And we don't usually get um, camping spots so nice or next to really nice flat areas. But in this case, we did. This is right behind our um, spot where we were camping. So we played some bocce ball. And at this point in the game, I was winning by a lot. Of course, he came back and rallied to beat me at the end. So this is just showing his uttered this disgust that I am beating him. Um, and I thought it was funny. So, uh, bocce ball madness. So the, uh, thickers are all, um, that wood grain, um, thicker. And I use, instead of the O from the thicker set, I use one of my flare. Got to use those up. Those are the Chevron ones. And ball is in basic gray letters, um, uh, from one of their sticker sheets that's in my stash. And then Madness is using October Afternoon, um, what do you call them? The little tiny letters. It's escaping me for some reason right now, but um, mini markets, yeah. And then the arrows are from the Studio Calico, Studio Calico Hearts and Arrows sticker sheet. I used a shipping tag here, just outlined it, did my journaling, uh, added a piece of red and white twine, used an enamel dot and some uh, splatters there. That was probably Mr. Huey's, probably, yeah. And then another enamel and splatters there. All the paper is from the Fact or Fiction line. So just laid up a few of them, um, told a story, dated it here at the bottom using one of my date stamps. Um, yeah, did a little layering, it's a tiny little bit of washi up there, and called it good. So pretty clean, simple layout. Second layout is from that same weekend. Um, and this one's called fish slayer. So, um, the papers didn't use a ton of pattern paper on this. Um, they're just kind of neutral papers. I did some stitching, which you probably won't be able to see. Yeah. You can't see that. Can you? Um, it's really light stitching and it's just to add texture. If you're in person, you can see the texture. I typed out my journaling, popped it up right there and stuck it on. Um, this is actually a sketch I saw and I don't have my iPad here or I would show it to you. Um, but just a sketch that I, you know, had saved back a few months ago. So I decided to do it. And this flare is from a studio calico kit. I, um, right here, just put a little glassine bag. Um, it's probably just from something that came packaged in one and I just cut it off and keep them. Cause I don't know, I think it adds a nice texture. Um, here, the circle that this part of the circle is from up here, which is that, and that's from, let's see. Just had it. It's from the fact, fact and fiction line, the lighter colored. Oh, right here. This one. And then the second page, you know, they have those circles. So that's where it came from. And um, 
Or maybe that one didn't come from there. Did that come from there? Let's see. Maybe it came from this one. Yep, they came from this one instead. So, oh, it's this one. The darker colored one. And it's one of those circles there. So, kind of cut it in half, put a little at the bottom. Well, not half, I guess. That's like a third of it. And then um, put the other part there. Uh, cut out the same paper in a circle that I used back here. And then that fact, or seen and noted, pebbles line, that paper there, and then this is from, I think, that same sticker sheet. And then just kind of cut it off at the end. And added some black um, acrylic paint I splattered on either corner and called it good. And then just the thing says tall tales, and I think that actually came from one of those sticker sheets as well. So this is called Fish Layer, and that's a picture of my husband and I. We fished out of our kayaks this weekend. Um, and it's the same weekend from that other picture I just showed you from Bocce Ball. In fact, all of these, well, the next one is too from the same weekend, but um, I, we were bass fishing out of our kayaks and of course my fish was bigger than his fish, which he wasn't too excited about, but I had to beat him at something. So it was a fun day. So there's that. This one is, this one is also based off of a sketch that I had in my sketch stash. Um, and there's a picture of my husband and I, and this was taken on the same day from that other layout that I entered for Vanessa's challenge called drink on it. Um, we went tubing that same day off of our friend's boat. Um, and, and that was the same, this is also the same weekend that we went camping. Um, so the, the campground is right on the lake and our friends, um, they weren't camping, but they came over with their boat. So we went out with them. And then, um, those letters are the Heidi swap, uh, these ones, the color magic ones. Um, and I used, I think, Sherbert, um, Mr. Huey. And so I sprayed them and then I wiped them off. So they kind of have that resist. So you can make those thicker or those, they're not thicker. So they're just chipboard alphas, any color you want. And it says love. Um, and there are three enamel dots, some splattering, I think also using the same Mr. Huey, uh, Sherbert. Um, here is my journaling up in the corner. I just cut out a circle ran that through my typewriter at the journaling and then cut off the pieces that I kind of measured it. So I knew where uh, not to type because I knew I'd be cutting off those parts. So, and then added the date and let's see, there's a wood veneer. Um, best day ever came from that sticker sheet I showed you from basic gray snapshot is actually a cameo cut. And it's, it's actually the cameo cut says snapshots, but since it's only one picture, I cut off the S and um, it was just out of some blue cardstock. And then I added like that uh, studio calico grid, stamp that came in one of their kits. I just went ahead and um, just haphazardly just kind of stamped it over there just to make it look like it had some texture. Outlined it some outlined some parts and called it good. So yeah, thought it came out cute. Oh and the background paper is just that um, white wood grain paper from Studio Calico. Or I guess you can get it other places too. And this last layout it's called Red River and uh, this was the weekend after the camping trip. We live really close to the Red River. Um, and so we typically will take our kayaks out and we'll float. And it takes about seven hours to get down the river from where we start to where we get out. Um, you can go longer, but we do the seven hour one. And um, so that's what it looks like so far. The paper, the background paper is just that Swiss dot studio calico paper that came in one of the kits. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and this is just a picture that I snapped, of. Uh, we had taken a break to eat lunch. Um, and so I just, we pulled up on like a, a little rocky sandbar. And so I just took a picture of my kayak and I just like the colors and stuff in the picture. So, um, I did that. The paper is from, I think it's on that same fancy pants, uh, collection, the good life. Um, and I used that arrow from, what you call it, um, right here, the, archivers arrow which I love them um and I just did the chevron one in green used red thickers to say red <laughs> how creative and river is actually um I ran this paper the whole white cardstock through my cameo and I just in in the actual silhouette software I just on the 12 by 12 mat that they have on the screen I just uh typed in the word river and I made it the size I wanted it to be and I cut out the paper and I punched out all the letters and left the negative. 
And so then I backed each one of the letters in different colors. I wanted to kind of be a bright layout because my kayak is brightly colored. So um, all the papers that I use in the backing is are from my, my, my mind's eye, like little, I don't know, six by six paper pad, nothing too exciting. But um, I thought that came out kind of cool. And it's a, it's a technique I've kind of wanted to use so or do. So yeah. And then um, the paper is here at the top and the bottom. I just add some stitching. I don't know if you can see that through um, through the parts there to give a kind of detail. Of course, I added some enamel dots. And the green actually isn't enamel dots. That's a Mr. Huey, I think. Uh, but I globbed it on really like thick. I put a thick drop of it. And I had to let it sit like for two days to dry because I wanted it to dry with dimension. So it... Um, it actually, like in person, looks like an enamel dot, but it's just Mr. Huey. And here is just a cutout I had. Um, it says travel itinerary. So I ran it through my typewriter and I said the Red River. Um, and then just all the other little details here. So, yeah, I thought that one came out kind of fun. I, I think, like, I looked at it and thought, oh, maybe it needed something more. But you know what? Sometimes less is more. So there it is. So that's all I have to share with you today. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know. And uh, other than that, have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.